Hello everyone. I hope everyone is staying safe and doing well during these strange and challenging times. My name is Sarath Ramaswamy, Senior Vice President at Fox Corp, responsible for building data products. At Fox, we are in a transformational journey. We are a media company that produce and distribute content with some of our famous brands like Fox News, Fox Sports, our Fox Broadcast Network, and Fox Local Television for local programming. After a merger, Fox Carp is built on a is a, in a build-out phase, taking a bold step to transform and modernize our technology infrastructure and systems. In this session, I am excited to share with you our approach in building successful data products. Data products for us are fueled by data to address a specific business problem. The focus of my presentation will be on a specific type of data product. We call it instrumentation data product, which is focused on for our internal decision makers. Our vision with data is an insight-driven organization powered by data analytics to support the dynamic needs of the business. We set to focus on three areas to enable our vision. They are the trusted data platform, democratize data to empower our staff at all levels, and build data products to transform how we create content and improve our customer experience. The data platform is where we begin, and it's the core foundation to host all our valuable data assets to support our decision making. It's not only about bringing data into your data lake, it's actually about making sure the data can be trusted, reliable, easily accessible, timely, and organized for easy consumption. The second area is democratization of data. As most of you know, you need to have proper governance and processes when data is shared widely in your organization. We have been able to leverage our learnings from the past, some of which are leadership support, standardization, cataloging of our data, and most importantly, easier accessibility to our data. We have invested in tools like Looker and others to support in self-service and access to the data for different personas, whether you are a hardcore data scientist or a business user. The last area I'm excited is data products. And we'll be talking more about it. It's taking the maturity to the next level with your data programs by building products, capitalizing on your data assets. Our goal with data products is to maximize the value of our data assets by putting the data at the core combined with machine learning to drive business value. In our journey, we have established the data platform and started to democratize our data. Today, we will share more how we approached data products at Fox. What are we doing with our data products? We're building our data products internally to help our decision makers measure and manage the business at all levels. We are focused on surfacing insights that can be actioned by our decision makers. It's targeted for decision makers that include management, sales, marketing, production teams. Data for data's sake will not move the needle. What we have found is that reporting and data discovery addresses certain needs and seen a larger impact with data products for the decision makers. We want to maximize on our data assets and found that data products had the biggest impact within our organization. For example, we built a data product for a sales team to gain a deeper understanding into our customer spend. The goal was to surface the insights and create a personalized experience that is easy to digest and act upon to support the sales process. Why Looker? Looker is a flexible and scalable platform to handle real-time data interaction. As a live business, we need to analyze data real time and Looker provides that scalability and flexibility to interact and analyze real time. It also creates efficiencies with the underlying LookML layer to normalize data and have a common business definition. We're able to reuse our measures and dimension and leverage its powerful version control. The platform that provides flexibility to build our own interface Looker ABI enables us to build custom user interface and with workflows expeditiously. We have been able to build our first data products in less than three months, and in the last year have built nine additional data products on our Looker platform. 
it's paramount to build a data product that results in actionable insights that is real-time, predictive, and actionable. We see organizations typically follow three stages in achieving actionable insights. Reporting. Most companies start the journey with, by building a data lake and focus on delivering reports to evaluate past performance. Everybody does reporting. You mostly look back on performance and need to look forward. The major challenge is getting the business user to shift from the reports they are comfortable to a more digital form. We have noticed some user groups are content with what they have and may require some incentive to move to new ways of receiving this information. The other challenges are standardized and automated reporting, the pull versus push. Most organizations have a group which generates reports and validates numbers before disseminating information. You need to build a trust with your data, allowing wider user base to consume data directly. The next logical step is to move towards advanced analytics. By using sophisticated mathematical models and machine learning to understand possible outcomes. Answer questions like, what will happen? Why did it happen? With a data centralized and transformed, you can do a lot with your data. You can develop predictive models to forecast future performance, allow users to interact with data in new exciting ways, perform data mining to unearth correlation, anomalies, and patterns. But the major challenge is you still have reliance on users to decipher information. The third stage is actionable insights. All of the data and insights in the world are meaningless if the end users don't know what to do with it. At Fox, we want to take it to the next level by building data products with a rich user experience and applying machine learning to surface insights to assist our decision makers to take swift actions. Develop key product attributes that make your product an integral part of the day-to-day job. Incorporate some of the key features for a successful adoption and use. We have seen these five attributes of data products successful for us. How do we get there? We have three stages that we have seen to get to building a successful data product. First is establish a strong foundation to deliver quickly. Data is an essential ingredient for your data product and the foundation of a data lake combined with the right set of tools will help deliver data products quickly. In our case, we choose the Looker platform to help create purpose-built data-driven experiences. We built our first product for our sales team in less than three months and rapidly developed nine other products for other groups in the last year. So build for a purpose. What do I mean by that? Try to identify a business problem that can be solved with data. For example, our production team wanted deeper insights and early visibility into how their shows performed and how they are faring against their competitors. We evaluated what they get and developed a product with a data-driven experience to provide them deeper insights, timely and actionable. We're currently working on predictive models to provide near real-time visibility on the show performance. You can also build data products to support the automation of workflows and not limited to just decision-making. One example at Fox is a product that we developed named Compress Games using computer vision models. We tag every play for a sports game and rank the most important plays to help identify what we want to store in our map. It was a storage play and the ability to index our content for reuse. Lastly, you want to be strategic with your data products. We prioritize and focus on what make the most impact to our business. Identify opportunities with data and as well as mission learning to either improve your business operations, create better customer ex- experience, or drive business growth. The second part is control the user experience. What we have learned is it's just not about the analytics but how you surface the data and insights. You need to give equal importance to user experience when you design the product. Use modern visualization techniques to comprehend and consume data quickly. Apply natural language that uses fragmented metrics into natural language for 
easy di digestion by the business users. Focus on personalization. Provide users with what they are interested and keep it simple. Seamless integration to operation workflows. Allow the ability to take actions within your data products so they don't have to jump around. Mobile first and support multiple devices. Mo mobile, tablet, TV, and web. In today's situation with remote working, this is imperative. Evaluate and iterate. Start with an MVP. Evaluate based on customer feedback and how they're using the product to iterate and improve. Do not hesitate to abandon if the product is not achieving its value. Start small and think big. Start with a small scope, but have the larger vision in mind. Establish a delivery model to deliver a product or a set of features quickly. The squad model has worked for us here at Fox to deliver features rapidly. We are delivering new features in weeks or days compared to months. This allows us to demonstrate the value to our business and enables us to iterate. Less is more from a user experience. Please keep it simple and focus on what's required. In today's world, we have more data available to us. While we mine all this data that is available, we surface what is relevant and actionable. Part three is predictive and actionable insights. Once you have delivered your initial release of the product, look to build the momentum by using advanced analytics to be more predictive and insights to be actionable. Move away from the users having to decipher and surface insights in real time. With predictive analytics, the insight should focus on being predictive to identify potential problems or opportunities and recommend actions. I want to emphasize using natural language so it's easy to consume and can be acted upon quickly. We have seen this work effectively when the users need to digest rapidly and act swiftly. One example is a product that we built for our sports team to analyze real time, game relevant, contextualize insights to support the production group. In summary, control the user experience by creating purpose-built apps that infuse actionable insights into operational workflow and products. Do not stop with the data platform. Data products should be part of your data program charter to capitalize on your most valuable data assets and drive the business forward. Build for a purpose, evaluate and iterate, achieve actionable insights. I wanna leave you with three takeaways. Give equal importance to the user experience when you develop your data product. Leverage technologies like machine learning and natural language to surface data insights that are easy to consume by your business users and can be acted upon quickly. Take your product to the next level with predictive analytics to recommend actions or identify potential opportunities. Since this is not a typical session and is pre-recorded, if you do have questions, please do not hesitate to contact me by email. Thank you everyone for listening. Stay safe and enjoy the rest of your conference. Goodbye.